Welcome back to channel Madam Wong. Today we are going to learn at point two, measures of dispersion part one. In measure of dispersion, we will learn range, interquartile range, variance and standard deviation. First, we will learn range of an ungrouped data. The range of ungrouped data is the difference between the largest and the smallest value. This measure shows how data is distributed. The formula for range equal to largest value minus smallest value. Now we look at the example one. The following data shows the marks scored by a group of pupils in science monthly test. Determine the range of this set of data. As we know, the formula for the range is largest value minus smallest value. So we find the highest mark minus the lowest mark. The range equal to 88 minus 30 equal to 58. Here's the north. Group that has larger range of marks means that pupil achievement varies greatly. Just now we learned already determine the range from a set of data. Now we're going to learn determine range from frequency table. Example 2. The data below shows the scores obtained by a group of pupils in biology test. Determine the range of the above data. Here is smallest value and here is largest value. So the formula for range is largest value minus smallest value. Range equal to 10 minus 3 equal to 7. So we learn what is range. Now we learn interquartile range of a set of ungrouped data. Let us see example 3. Determine the interquartile range of each of the following sets of data. We have five steps to determine the interquartile range for a set of data. First step, arrange the data in ascending order. So we arrange it in ascending order, means from smallest value to the highest value. Step two, determine the median. So median is at the middle of the set of the data. So, so median is here. Step three, determine the first quartile. First quartile is at the middle position of the part before median. So here is the part before median. The middle of the before the median is here. So this is first quartile. Step four. Determine the third quartile. Third quartile is middle position of the part after median. So this is third quartile. Step five. Determine the interquartile range equal to third quartile minus first quartile equal to 19 minus 13 equal to C. So the interquartile range for this data is equal to C. We look at B. So how to determine the interquartile range? First step, arrange the data in ascending order. Second step, determine the median. Okay, so now, here at the front, we have one, two, three, four number. Behind here, also one, two, three, four. So that the median is here. Step three, determine the first quarter. So first quarter is middle position of the part before median. So it's here. Here's first quarter. So how to find the first quarter? 
first quartile equal to two point two plus two point four divided by two equal to two point three. Step four, determine the third quarter. The third quarter is at the middle position of the part after median. So third quarter is middle here. So how to find the value of third quarter? The number before is 2.9 plus the number after here is 3.1 divided by 2. So equal to 3. 5. Determine the interquartile range. Interquartile range equal to the quartile minus first quartile. So the quartile is 3 minus the first quartile is 2.3 equal to 0 0.7. Now we are going to learn how to determine the interquartile range of the frequency table. Before we find the interquartile range, we need to add one row below the table to find the cumulative frequency. Okay, so here is 2. 2 plus 4 equal to 6. 6 plus 8 equal to 14. 14 plus 4 equal to 18. 18 plus 7 equal to 25. 25 plus 5 equal to 30. 30 plus 2 equal to 32. This is first value to second value. Third to six. 7 to 14. 15 to 18. 19 to 25, 26 to 30, 31 to 32. Okay, so now we find the first quarter. The first quarter is equal to the value of 1 over 4 times 32 plus 1 over 4 times 32 plus 1 divided by 2. So if we solve it, here is at and here is at plus one. So first quarter equal to at value plus the next value, ninth value divided by two. So where is the at value? At value at the score five. And ninth value also at score five. So five plus 5 divided by 2 equal to 5. After we find the value of first quarter, now we find the value of third quarter. So third quarter is the 3 over 4 times 32 value plus the 3 over 4 times 32 plus 1 value divided by 2. So equal to 24 plus 25 divided by 2. So 24 and 25 is at score 7. So 7 plus 7 divided by 2 equal to 7. As we know, the interquartile range is equal to third quarter minus first quarter. So in the quartile range, it could do 7 minus 5, it could do 2. Now we look at next example. Now first step, we fill in the cumulative frequency here 2, 2 plus 4, 6, 6 plus 2, add, add plus 10, 18, 18 plus 7, 25, 25 plus 4, 29, 29 plus 3, 32. Okay, so the value is first to second, third to six, 
7 to add 9 to 18, 19 to 25, 26 to 29, 30 to 32. And the total of the frequency is even number, so we need to use this formula. So 1 over 4 times 32, the total of the frequency, plus 1 over 4 times 32 plus 1, divided by 2. So we find the first one is add. So the add value plus the 9 value divided by 2. So from the table, the add value is 5. So 5 plus the 9 value is 6. So 5 plus 6 divided by 2 equal to 5.5. After we find the first quota, now we find the third quota. So this is at time 3 equal to 24 value plus the 25th value divided by 2. So based on the frequency table here, 24 value is in score 7. And 25th value also at the score 7. So 7 plus 7 divided by 2 equal to 7. So the last one in the quartile range equal to the quartile minus first quartile. So in the quartile range equal to 7 minus 5.5 equals to 1.5. If you think this video is helpful to you, please subscribe and share. Thank you.